Uh, maybe one or two more questions for you. One is on uh, EQ versus IQ. IQ, is, you know, obviously there's a lot of debate now and we're talking a lot about EQ and the value that it brings to the organization. How can people develop their EQ? You talked about self-awareness earlier, 360 reviews, but there are also other important qualities of emotional intelligence, right? So what are those important qualities and how do you work on them? Uh, we used to think leadership was based on the smartest guy in the room. Uh, there's good news and bad news. The bad news, your IQ doesn't get any better from the ages 10 to 60. It just, uh, you know, you just get a lot more knowledge and a lot more learning. Uh, but EQ can be developed. Qualities like empathy, compassion for other people, uh, having a passion, uh, courage. You don't, you're not born with courage. You have to go out and test yourself. Starting a business, uh, testing yourself in the real world. I'm not talking about physical courage. Uh, one of the greatest examples of courage is when Ken Frazier walked out of the President Trump's councils after Charlottesville because it violated what he thought it meant to be an American, that all people are created equal. And he walked out after that. And, uh, you know, I have such admiration for his moral courage. So I think you can develop these qualities over time by putting yourselves in real world situation and learning from them. Sachin Nadella at Microsoft says we need to have learn it alls, not know it alls. They had all know-it-alls when he took over eight years ago. And now they're learn-it-alls. And so are you a learner? I'd like to say, anyone you listening, are you constantly learning? Do you learn from every experience? Do you process when things don't go your way? What did I do wrong? Rather than say, oh, those guys treated me badly. No, maybe you did something wrong. Maybe you caused yourself to get forced out of your job. So look at it. Or you had a business failure. What did I do wrong? What was my role in that? So it's that constant learning and asking yourself and asking other people for feedback. Uh, honest, candid feedback. You need truth tellers around you who will tell you what you don't want to hear. And if you ever get so caught yeah. up with a group of sycophants that tell you how great you are, you know you're in trouble.